Thank you, Madam Chair, and thank you for being here. Um, I know there's been a lot of talk today about the unaccompanied minors and the children and whatnot, so I, I want to try and clarify it and just get some simple answers. Um, you vet the sponsors mm -hmm. who, we, who you place the unaccompanied minors with, right? That's correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. How many total unaccompanied minor children do you think you deal with every, every year? Every year. I believe, and uh, I can try to get you the accurate numbers, but I believe in 2021, it was something over 120,000 children. So, okay, yeah. roughly 120-ish, yeah. give or take. Okay. 2022, close to that as well. And I've heard, you know, I know the New York Times ob uh, obtained data from your office and your department saying that your agency had failed to reach more than 85,000 unaccompanied minors. Is that inaccurate? Completely inaccurate. Can, okay. Do you know who they contacted from your office? So this is just a bogus story that they, the Times put out? No, it's that they use statistics in the wrong way. Uh, because we okay. try to track children, and we, as I mentioned in a previous exchange, yep. we, we, we reach out to these children, to the children and to the sponsors. And if they don't, they don't respond, they get checked as they haven't responded. That, okay. we, we make note all the so time. So how many unaccompanied minor children are actually unaccounted for are what are unaccounted for it, 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 so we, if we let, let me give you an answer so, example we we vet yeah. and place 120 correct thousand give or take ish right of those how many are not accounted for how many of those people don't respond so when when you say accounted for are, are you saying how many do we try to check on their Let's, status? I'm going to say you try and check all of them. Correct. Right? Okay. Correct. How many of those people don't respond and we don't ha we we aren't able to track? The vast majority, I think it's over 80 percent, we have been able to reach either the child or the sponsor, and we make an effort three times for okay, e each. Okay. So child. roughly 20 percent did not we respond. We are um, are unaccounted for. Not unaccounted for because they are with their sponsor, likely. Well, how do they you know they're with their sponsor if they have, if you haven't been able to contact the child or you haven't been able to contact the sponsor? Because when we place them, they are with the sponsor now. Okay, but you, I place you today, but you may not, if, if you don't respond, right, the sponsor doesn't respond, or the child what doesn't respond, how do you still know that they're with the sponsor? Well, the, HHS doesn't have the jurisdiction to try to follow those children. And so when you say they're unaccounted for, you're implying that we should be able to account for them. Once they but are you placed. Are. I'm sorry? But y you are. I so my, my point is, let's just say you place 120. Correct. Right? There's a whole batch of unaccounted, uh, uh, of unaccounted children that we don't know. We don't know if they're being trafficked, right? Because we know human trafficking is a problem. We don't know if they're in child labor, right? In my state of, of Michigan, we had this issue with child labor. We don't know what's happening to these children. We're making some pretty broad assumptions. That, that's, that's all I'm yeah. saying. Are you disputing that fact? No, okay. no. All right. you, you're, but, but could I clarify? Sure. This is not like a foster care program where no, the it's agency, worse. <laughs> I, I would in, agree. in many it's, respects, you're right, because there is, no, there is no connection. And right. That, so un right. saying they're unaccounted implies that there is a way to account for them. And Congress never well, there gave is us a way. The, there how? is a way. How? Because you just told me that you are accountable no, for. Well, but I can't I, account I, for them me, because I don't, back, to, I don't have jurisdiction. I don't have jurisdiction. Then to why are you tracking them anyways? If you have a juris, if because you don't have any jurisdiction, you shouldn't be following them anyways. Is that what you're telling me? Congresswoman, because we believe it's Is that what you're important. telling me? It, we believe it's So important. you do have jurisdiction. No. Then why are you doing it? Because we believe it's in the best interest of the child. And I believe it's in the best interest of the child. So would you agree with me that there's 20% of the people, the children, that are just twisting in the wind that no. we're making a bunch of assumptions on? Absolutely not. But because I think it's very convenient that you say, oh, but we care so much about the kids, the ones we account for, the ones that no, we can't account we for. Reach, yeah, that's reach, really not my, you know, that's not my jurisdiction. Women, remember, so we try to reach every child. Let's just use child. the same context and go. So. Are you accountable or not accountable? Do you, you, if I'm you give asking us the you the questions. We don't Are you have accountable the or not accountable? We do yes not or no? have the authority from Congress to try to 
keep account of these children once they are placed. So that's not placed. your job is is to have. That's to, not what we're your saying. Your job is to vet them. That's not what we're saying. And then let them go. That's why we try to reach out to these kids. I don't you know what you're saying because you use the 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 laws that's convenient for you. When we, if we really truly care about the children, we'd care about it when it's convenient and when it's not convenient. And we'd begin to fix a problem that we know we have as opposed to try and cover our butts. With if that, Congress I give us the jurisdiction to try to account Thank for you. these kids. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Secretary. Thank you, Ms. McLean.